Now, if you've driven on the interstate in East Tennessee, you've probably noticed a giant cross on the side of the highway. My name is James Potter, P-O-T-T-E-R, and I'm a minister of the gospel, and I build these crosses. I started putting crosses up behind pulpits, small wooden crosses, you know, four, five foot tall, three foot wide at the cross arm and made out of wood, started putting them up. Then I said, that ain't big enough. I want something bigger than that. So I started making concrete crosses. I made a form out of a channel iron. You can see these points on this cross up there. Can you see that good? Yeah. Them points, well, this is one of them points right here that goes on the pipe that makes that, uh, that makes that, and right there's a pipe, see, and it goes on the end of that pipe right there. These are squares right here now. They're, they're square, they're, uh, that's five foot square on a, on a 60 foot cross, that's what this is, 60 foot. My mother, my dad both was Christian. My mother was a devout Christian and she took us to church all the time. And, uh, I was told not to do this, not to do that, not to, you know, I know not to cuss and all that stuff because mom say, you, don't you do that, don't you use God's name in vain. I grew up that way, but now I, you know, I was a sinner. We all sin and come short, even today. But our soul is sealed to the day of redemption. It says in Ephesians 4. In 1989, I got saved, and when I did, I got to altogether a different vision of ourselves this world and mankind and uh, I got uh, I got a not a glimpse I haven't seen heaven but I can see it spiritually by the Word of God uh, you know when I started off I asked the Lord I said Lord let us build five for each state that'd be 250 crosses all over this country but uh, you know I'd have to live as long as Moses and be as strong as Moses was when he climbed a hill <laughs> when he was 120 year old there's 50,000 cars and vehicles you know cars vehicles and passes this cross right here every day which there'll be some days it'll be a little more and some days a little less, but it's about, about 50,000 vehicles a day. And so, you know, if you, if you count two people to the car, that's 100,000 people. And I can preach all over the country in these churches, and it'll take me a long time to preach to 100,000 people which this will do it in one day, see, over and over and over. Now right here's the one that goes in that concrete. That's a big piece of pipe, that's a 36 inch pipe. Right there. 
Now there's them, them, uh, for the ears that goes on that pipe for them squares to sit on. So you got one every five foot on each side. It's got one on the bottom to match it all the way. You know, the First Amendment of the Constitution says we, they cannot make a law against us. The First Amendment of the Constitution says they cannot make a law against religious work. I just think it's very large and it, it seems to be you know, distracting because of the size. And it might be almost as if the communities or the cities are uh, appearing to the other motorists that it's an endorsement of a specific religion. A lot of people brags on these crosses. A lot of people, they don't know where they're at. And some of them throws off on it. So you got three stages of people. You got people who don't know. You got people who do know. And you got people that know, but they're just against it. But I don't pay no attention to them. The Lord's blessed me to be, give me uh, ingenuity, I guess, what you call it. A lot of people don't know what ingenuity is, but it's a little bit of horse sense. We know that wisdom comes from the Lord. And you know, the Bible tells us we don't have it to ask him for it. That's James and James. And says he'll give it to us liberally. That's more than enough. God's always got more than enough if people just trust him. Trust and obey. There's no other way. I've got about uh, uh, 30 something, but I don't know how many it is. I really don't. If I told you a number, I'd tell you something that wasn't right, probably so. I'd just say, you know, I lost count of them. When it comes to the Lord's work, it seems like the devil's always present, and he is. That's what the Bible says. Well, I know it wasn't real because uh, it ain't tall enough to hit that building if it was to fall. And they just called me and they said, hey, what happened to that cross then? And I said, that's just a joke. I don't know how somebody done it, but they done it with camera work some way. I'm not that up to date on camera work and computers, but that's the way they done it. And, uh, but it didn't fall. They ain't the one I'm failing, I know of. <laughs> but you saw the amusement. Oh yeah. yeah. I said, well, if it did, that'd be a good place for it to fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. While traveling through this world of sorrow, I'm on my way to glory land. I'll not turn back.